Many townlands make up our locality. Within these townlands, many stories have been told over the years. Our story tells of a witch who lived in Bonnick Hill. Our story begins at the local hall. It's a summer's evening and a dance is in full flow. Did you see the match last night? It was oh. great. It was, I think it was 3 2 2 one, 6 I think. Was it? Oh, they played very well. Great match. Yeah, it was a great match. Mm. Oh, how are you lads? Oh, oh how are yeah. you? One ticket please. That'll be five quid. Oh, yeah. There you go. Thank you. You're not, you're not from around here, are you? No. My name's Billy. I'm staying up with Miss Murphy, looking for a bit of work. Oh yeah, I get, I get ya. So the boys will show you. Thank you. Right, right here. here. As Billy entered the hall, his attention was grabbed by a group of people in a different room. She who? The witch of Bonnie Kill. She'll be looking for help at the hay, and no my luck she'll pick me. Really? Does she need help? I could do with the work. You'd do well to stay away from her, boy. You don't want to end up like poor John Jo. Oh, oh, poor John, John Jo! Or Petty, and far booked. Oh, 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 oh. What happened to John, Jim and Paddy? The story goes, when John Joe said no, and the witch put a curse on him, and bad things started to happen then. First, his cat went on fire. Then, his spuds went rotten. After that, his horse got sick. It all got too much for him. He decided to leave. God, that's terrible. Sure, you should have just said yes. Paddy said yes. He started cutting the hay with the witch. He got his legs clean off him because he didn't stay in front of her. My great grandfather said the only way to take the powers from the witch is to make sure you finish your part of the hay before she finishes hers. But no one has ever managed it. It's more on true A. You have a fair idea. Oh, Billy, my heart is broken for you. Word quickly spread through the village that Billy had been approached by the witch. A deep numbness overshadowed the village at poor Billy's misfortune. Oh, the poor creature. He has to work with a stubborn old witch. Sad, sad times. Oh, geez, how are you? How are you? How are you? A juice, please. Mary! Bridget! Margaret! Get in here! Yes, stop, yes, stop, yes, stop, yes, stop. Get me a juice. Yes, the try it. Now. Yes. Not a bad day. No, no. Where do you go, Daddy? Oh, geez. 
thank you. Um, is it sure you're working with the witch? It is, and I'm looking forward to getting stuck in. The next morning, Billy arrived good and early to get started with the hay. Morning. Oh, I left my scythe over there in the field. Will I just go straight over there? Very well. As they began cutting, the witch grew irritated as she had to keep stopping to sharpen her scythe. Billy continued to work away as if he was blissfully unaware. The witch became more and more irate as she had to keep stopping. Before long, Billy had his part finished. Just as the legend tells us, the witch lost her powers. Word spread through the village about Billy and the witch losing her powers. The lads looked on in astonishment as he told his story. Billy remembered that he'd be okay if he stayed in front of the witch. So the night before he was due to start work, he put iron spikes in the section of hay that the witch was to work in. That is why she had to keep stopping as the spikes made her scythe blunt. From that day on, the lobos were incredibly grateful to Billy.